So, I got some poems for you guys today, as always. So, um, for those of you who are new to Not Addicted to Sales from Labyrinth, I uh, read five poems in total, three for myself and uh, two from other poets. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, uh, this first one is called Red Fog. <clears throat> Red Fog filling the air, visible all around, yet nothing is visible, burning at the eyes and at the lungs, while the fires, fires rage on and on. So if you haven't noticed here in Buffalo, and and uh, looks like down in New York City as well, there's a lot of fog outside. Uh, unfortunately, there's some uh, fires raging in Canada, if I'm not mistaken, at the moment. And so hopefully uh, the fire people are able to put those out and everything and and, um, and of course um, I want to wish uh, all the best to the fire people uh, trying to put out the fires and everything and hopefully uh, the fires don't do too much damage but uh, yeah so there's a lot of fog outside I, I, and uh, the air has been like this for uh, a little while I think like a few days or so oh, so yeah a lot of fog all around it smells like a burning hang, hang, and that is wise hey and it has kind of affected, uh, it's affected like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people like respiratory issues are advice to like, you know, stay inside and everything, and, but also like burns in the eyes a little bit, and, and uh, I think it's kind of gotten to my eyes, either that or of course the allergies as well perhaps, that's because it is uh, allergy season, and so um, in this video and maybe some of the other one, ones I do and maybe some of the ones I've done already, you might uh, see me uh, rub my eyes a little bit and that is why uh, but this next one is called Minesweeper <clears throat> I've never understood this stupid game where am I supposed to click does it matter or is it just blind luck they tell me there's a strategy but I can't figure it out maybe this game isn't for me I hate Minesweeper I can't stand Minesweeper like hey, it's such a it's a ridiculous game uh, to me like Hey, I am not a fan of Minesweeper or at all. Like, never been a fan of it, even playing it back then. Still not a fan nowadays. I've never understood Minesweeper. They they say the strategy is like, um, like if there's like a certain mine, and or uh, and or if it's like a certain, like I think just like a number, then there might be a mine maybe next to it. So try to click kind of away from it, but. Even then, and sometimes there's a mine right there. Uh, sometimes the mines are next to each other. So I just never understood Minesweeper. I've never won a game of Minesweeper, and I probably never will because it's just ridiculous. Uh, and then uh, this next one is called Another Haiku Attempt. <clears throat> I attempt haikus again. Hopefully I get it right. Remembering rules. So I, I kind of skipped a little bit just a smidge of the grammar there just to fit the 575 rule well, uh, uh, when it comes to haikus I uh, haven't done haikus in a little bit uh, it, I forgot uh, which episode it was where I devoted uh, just haikus I know it was a little while ago but I attempted a haiku there uh, didn't re uh, not, not the most cohesive but I think I got the rules down pack so at least there's that going for it uh, then this next one is called Perfect Orange, and this is by Ching Ying Chen <laughs> for Rick and Stephanie. Because today our hands unravel a perfect orange, we each left our homes, drank ripening light before boarding, putting our hands together into red soil. We each left home to place new juice in our mouths, put our hands together into red soil, kept our eyes open for tiny seeds, unfamiliar juice in our mouths. Each season we unlatched door, eyes open and for tiny seeds signaling first growth, kept away wilder foraging creatures. Each season unlatching door, and because windows kept their promise to open, ripening light before boarding, sun did indeed round out, foraging creatures feeding grass, sky no longer called out, private song, our mouths welcome smooth rind singing sweet juice in our mouths. So, uh, so, uh, uh for, first of all, uh, looks like Chi in here wrote this poem for her, uh, her couple getting married, which is nice of them. But uh, also the things that they're describing here in this poem, um, uh, um, uh, kind of showing, uh, I get 
the theme I'm kind of picking up on is unity. You got two sides coming together, and and uh, you got the orange and the soil, also nature. But seeing them come together, the juices in their mouth helps as they share them together, or uh, or uh, bring, hanging the two sides together. Obviously, bringing Rick and Stephanie together, or is what's uh, is what's uh, Chingy is uh, getting here getting at here I should say a uh, hey how they're describing how how uh, people how because they're married now uh, Rick and Stephanie I'm guessing are married now uh, or uh, maybe about to get married I, I, I kind of interpreted that as like I go what heading because you know the holding hands and everything but uh, he, but now that they're together or uh, or they're unified right so that's why they have the juices that's why I say unfamiliar juice because obviously these two people didn't know each other before or uh, they got together, or, or at least that might be the implication, and, and that and uh, them coming together, or with the juices in each other's mouths. So, oh, uh, oh, seeing a sense of unity, and I do love how poetic it, it is, and and how the theme is explored, or that, or how, or how we see the coming together, and how it's tying into nature, or with the uh, seeds healing growth, perhaps uh, children, or this new life uh, together, which. It, uh, which again hints at kind of the wedding and uh, uh, starting this new life together now and now that they're coming together so I think uh, very well done in here and then this last one is called Red Rum and this is by Dor Dorothea Lasky and if I mispronounce any of these names I do apologize but <clears throat> lipstick is one of the very finest elixirs it has a soft consistency and can write on grass uh, write on glass I should say Excuse me. Uh, red rum is sweet and candied, with cherries from the bottom of the bottle. We sip it so gracefully. I am in love again. His name is something, but who can remember? Memory is a lake, and all of that I can't remember. Where I had left my last exercise, I was only ever sitting here, watching the neon burn out. I have taken my red lipstick and written help across my chest. He looks at it so kindly. I know I am real again. I can feel the sweet bitters of the drink make me into a woman. I am not crying. I am writing sonnets in my mind about all the vacations we will take after this one. I throw the glass against the wall. The only thing that matters in love is passion. And so, uh, 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 so a few things I'm picking up on. Uh, so the first is obviously love. We're seeing that uh, throughout the poem. Uh, obviously, he. Uh, two people of course Dorothea and this guy are kind of getting to know each other again friendly and everything and but also I know I noticed that uh, Dorothea might be drunk uh, uh, she mentions you know the red rum and the drink and everything but she also mentions uh, mentions lack of memory how she can't remember the guy's name and how and, and the pace thing seemed to be someone moving fat as in her as in her uh, her uh, th and thinking all these things and throwing the glass against the wall. There's a chance she might be drunk, hung their uh, drinking and everything, and as they're getting friendlier and her and everything, which, uh, which you usually uh, those things happen. In the course, I can't really relate. I've never really been drunk, but uh, yeah. So, who oh, uh, oh, uh, drunk here, or perhaps, perhaps uh, at least that may be the implication of it. It it and uh, and uh, like, like how she goes back to the lipstick. How. how Oh, you know, saying it can write on glass, and how she's writing it across her chest, as and uh, how he looks at the help sign kindly. And now it might be metaphorically writing it, it; it might be literally, but it might be metaphorically writing like help, like like help me come out of my shell, perhaps, or or uh, or help me find love, or, or some, something, perhaps along those lines. It's wanting help with something, but the fact that he looks at it kindly means that that she. she um, Means that she might be into him, him and uh, wanting him to do something with her, her and, and wanting them to do stuff together. I, I know I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, let me know if that makes any sense. But that's kind of some of the uh, he um, uh, interpretation I'm picking up on. On is them uh, getting friendly and everything while they are enjoying their night.
get together. But nevertheless, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video, so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the poems and my analysis. Uh, did you like to dislike the poems? Did you like to dislike my analysis? Uh, do, you dis do you agree or disagree with my analysis? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Oh, and uh, let me know your thoughts on all the poems um, and what you think uh, each poem means and uh, what you think of the poems. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.